Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. I've missed you all so, so much, but I am back, I'm back, I'm back. So just a little update on where I've been. I know I've been gone for a minute. Um, so I got hired to do this boutique and um, I finished that and then I took a couple vacations that were well needed and well deserved. And then I went on a spiritual journey and uh, it was amazing. And I hope you all are doing extremely well. Today I'll be creating some door decor and I'm gonna start off by connecting these foam boards. It'll be a total of three, but I'll only be needing six inches from the last foam board. After that was done, I pre-cut the foam to fit the foam board. And I did the same for the batting. Now this is some gold fabric that I got from Walmart. And I am just laying down the batting and um, adding my foam and adding the foam board. And I am being sure to leave out a couple of inches on each side. So when I start tufting, everything would still fit. Now on this video, I'm gonna be doing a couple things different. I'm gonna be giving you a variety of different um, techniques that you can use. So this technique is for people without um, staplers and I'm just using my hot glue gun to glue the fabric on the foam board. If you have a stapler, then you can disregard the step and you can staple it instead. I first started off by marking the areas that I wanted to be tufted. And later on in this video, you can see that I added more. I ended up changing my mind and adding more because I felt like it looked better. So these are the ones I'm doing for now. I'm just letting you know. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna be doing things two ways in this video so I can show um, people without the tools that I have how to do certain things. So for people without staplers, um, I grabbed this crochet needle and I'm just going through the foam and the foam board with it. Ooh, that is not a crochet needle. That is a pair of scissors. So I'm going through every spot with a pair of scissors. And then I turned the board around and I'm just making sure that the holes are all the way through. I completed the first tuft by myself to make sure that I knew what I was doing. Um, and this is when the crochet needle was brought in. So I am sticking the crochet needle through the back and then I'm going to flip the board over and then pull it and glue it down. Now, like I said, if you have a stapler, this will be much easier and you can just go ahead and staple through. And I will show you the stapling option later on in the video. And I'm going to continue to tuft the board with my crochet needle. Side note, so I was out shopping around two months ago, right? And I get a phone call and there's this guy on the other end and he sounds so familiar, but I could not connect the dots. And then after a minute, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Will. I had totally forgot that we had uh, exchanged numbers like a couple of months ago and we just had never contacted each other. And when I tell you that was the greatest surprise ever, he is such a dope person. So shout out to you, Will. Uh, thank you so much for that phone call. It really lifted up my spirits. And thank you for all the advice you gave me because you did not have to do that. Please, please, please go follow his channel and I will leave the link in the description box below. Okay, so after I got done tufting, I'm gonna finish gluing um, the sides down. So I added gems and you remember I said later on I changed my mind, so bear with me, I'm gonna explain it all. I got this piece of uh, wood from Home Depot. I liked it because of the texture, it looks like bricks. 
and the night spray painted it gold. The reason why the fabric looks so terrible right now is because I had to pull the gems back out. But the marks are still there, so I will be taking my stapler and going um, in the holes again. And I will also be adding more tufts to each side um, on the first row, and then on the second row, I'll be adding one in the middle. So if you watch the video, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. And by the way, I am stapling the foam board onto the regular wooden board. But if you did the hot glue method, you can always um, glue the foam board on top of the wooden board. Now I will be taking a gold piece of lace and I'm going to be connecting it to the board. So it's gonna be going in a pattern. And I'm gluing this on there to give it more of a design. After this step was completed, I used the Gorilla mounting tape to hang it up. And if y'all seen Gorilla Glue Girl, then you know why I trust their products. The last thing I did was hot glue these gems that I got from Walmart inside of the tufted areas. And this was the final product. I love how I upgraded these doors. It added so much to them. Thank you all so, so much for sticking in there with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love, Glitter Babes. See y'all next time.